need it? Need, need work? Shotgun. Talk with the Mariner. Lord knows she's always carrying on about something. We need to move through the mountain. Old mountain trail is where we're at. Fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks. Fresh ones. Trappers are here. When the bullets start Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. Everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. Hear that? Crawler. They usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never know. Young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before.
We ain't no limit. Fog, take them all. Gulpers got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them around. Time to earn that next week. There. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family, if he deems you worthy. Okay. Sign me up. Excellent. Head to the Nucleus. There, Adam's plans for you will be revealed. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Your Pip-Boy doesn't sound clean. clean. No we'll say we get out of here. Gady is not too far now. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. Be you. 
Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... there's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day? and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. And I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. 
Is there anything else you need from me? So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. You are from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with my kind. Well, I know Nick, obviously. Yes. Of course. What else can I do for you? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Building a collection Sometimes or something? Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there, 
I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there, and what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once, and I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. You say the word, I'll take a crack at that terminal for you. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? It's kind of beautiful, in its own way. That's... refreshing. Most don't view it the same. I'm glad someone else can see it. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt, long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. That sounds like a noble goal. Well, thank you. I wish more shared the sentiment. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. I'd like to help you, with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did, before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. I have some flowers for you. A beautiful color, don't you think? As promised, here are your caps. Can I help you? I assume you're not planning on staying long. I'll probably be leaving soon. That's for the best. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, 
then we take them in. Let them live as a simp, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. Hi. You want to buy all something some or what? It certainly what wasn't what I was right. expecting, but... Yeah. Take a look. It means... It means there's hope, right? That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing. That she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. You're lucky to have found a place in the world. Yeah, I guess. This just wasn't where I thought I'd end up. Any of it. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. You want to buy something or what? <clears throat> I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Let's see what you got. The best Acadia has to offer coming around. Need something? Did you need something? Hi. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here, Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Hmm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Did you need something? You want to buy something or what? Excellent. New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. It's not your fault. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? Whatever's going on with you doesn't make it okay to be rude. Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever.
Excuse me. Hey, I'm listening. Thank you. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. Thanks, but it doesn't matter now. I'm here, and I'm safe. And I'm never leaving. I'll see you around, okay? is completely fried. Maybe if I reroute the sensors? So, Crocker went in. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're a what? You came all this way... For me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island something way more important than just one lost girl all right i'm listening okay where to begin you saw all those computers that dima's hooked up to right they hold his memories or offload data from his brain or maybe some combination of both well faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them and you know i got curious there's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... The security on it is crazy. This'll be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. I 
Every day's a struggle here. But at least we don't have to hide. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Are you building a collection or something? Can't pick this. Katie is far away enough from the incident that we don't have to worry, right? Hey. You want to buy something or what? I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't touch. Uh huh. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. Hey, but it's you want to buy something or what? I'll take a look, sure. It's not much.
We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt. Giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have. But I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Dima's got his fingers everywhere on this island. And whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that got us. You got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> Dima, did you need something? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the Children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. Alright. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor? The Children of Adam? Or my memories? I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit. 
and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a... I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. Excuse me. Yes? Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the Children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. You know, I've been thinking about how things went down with Winter. I never properly thanked you. I'm glad I could help. Seems like it meant a lot to you. You don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last bit of his business settled. I'm not sure how I feel. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans-whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could... I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I... What I finally realized after all this time was that taking down Winter... It wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice. 
about doing what's right, and that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours, and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. What I can do. Heads up. Go on. Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. Heads up. I'm all... Something I can do? It's about time for you to go, Nick. Shame. I guess I'll just head home. Won't be the same without you. Uh-huh. Maybe someday more places in the world will exp- Accept us for who we are.
fucking kill! Nice. Sweet. Got it. chained on the other side.
gotta record this so as I don't forget later. After we closed up for the night, you know, Matt and I split a couple of pictures while cleaning. Shop's got everything you need. Ah, oh, you there? Are you? Guns, back. guns. And... Are you that detective I've heard about? I guess you could say that. Oh, wonderful! I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts. I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Who's the victim? Well, we want to keep this out of the tabloids, but... It's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Is this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. This type of investigation usually requires a retainer. Oh, you're a private investigator, not an employee of the state. Well, yes, then I suppose a retainer can be arranged. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. If there may be a murderer, I'm gonna need some danger pay as well. I'm afraid that's all I have on me. But my employers are, well, rather wealthy. And I can definitely put a word in for you. Will you help us? Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Not yet. Ah, you must have supplies you need... You 
you talk to Cassie Dalton? Shame what happened to her family. Whenever you're ready. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Need to drown your troubles? Talk to Mitch, the last plank. A mainlander like you stands no chance against the crawlers. Avery. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. If you ain't on... Talk with Alan. I don't point. have time for you. Buy my guns Food. now. Stim packs. Yeah, the children Please. of Adam are dangerous. I don't trust them. My legs got nothing on the fog. Go say I didn't warn you. Fog's got in my lungs. We heading out? That's right. Let's get going. After you. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop.
Glad to have you aboard. We'll be taking off in a moment. Your weapon is locked and loaded. Good hunting. Touchdown could be a little rough. What's on your mind? I can smell you out there, little sneak.